Hello everyone, this is Hanisha. I am a developer in Bamni. Welcome to the series of videos on Form Builder app. In this video, I will be talking about Form Builder internationalization, Form Imports and Exports and other places where Forms 2.0 is integrated with like in registration second page and Bamni Connect. Let's get started with Form Builder internationalization. Uh, basically, internationalization is a means of adapting computer software to different languages. And as Bamni already has a support of IAT NAND, uh, we should be able to display this Forms 2.0 in different languages. So the Form Builder internationalization feature uh, provides us ability to uh, provides ability to implement it for translating published forms to different languages. With this feature, user can also see the form data in the language of logged in local if the form is translated by the implementer. Now, if we, we can see the demo of it. I go to implementer interface, click on, click on form builder app, which will list all the forms which were created earlier. In the last three video, as for demo purposes, we have created a form vitals demo and we'll be generating translations for the same form in this video. Uh, for each published form, you can see there are three icons displayed. Uh, which is for editing viewing and editing the form and which is for one is for exporting and one is for translating so when you click on translate form uh, which will show the list of keys and values for the concepts we have added in the form so you can see the translation keys which were generated by combining the concept name and the control id for it if you can see uh, for example, if we take Pulse, when we publish the form, uh, a key will be generated for this particular uh, uh, field with Pulse underscore control ID, which is 1. So if you can see, the translation key for Pulse is Pulse underscore 1. And the value for this Pulse 1 is fetched from the open MRS looking. So if I search for Pulse. So for uh, whatever the names I have for English locale will be shown here and all these short names that we give all the synonyms that we give for this particular locale will be shown in this list. We can select the one which is appropriate for us. You can also edit this and write whatever you want. You can also edit this and say some I think calls English and you can select those things so this is for English local by default uh, the uh, this will show only the default local and uh, right here we have a we have all the locales uh, given here we can choose whatever local we want this we want to have translations for suppose if I select French local uh, it will show up all the French names that were given in OpenMRS, all the synonyms and short names as I explained before. And for those which doesn't have any names, uh, which doesn't have any names in French, for example, systolic doesn't have any names in French. So, so the translated keys were appearing here. You can remove this and add, uh, you can translate systolic and add whatever you want. Suppose, I am translating it to French and I want to add this here. Just need to add it and select this option. So now you have translations for French. And not only for the concepts, we will also have the translations for the descriptions as well. If you see that this uh, examination, examination notes has a description, so there will be a key generated for the, this saying the concept name underscore control ID of the examination notes, which is for underscore description. So you can translate this as well. You can select whatever the value you need. And if you save this, 
you should be able to see these forms when you log in with French Locker. I log in with French Locker now. And go to clinical app. Open uh, test demo patient. And click on vitals demo. Now it will show uh, all the translated names. Uh, French names. You can see the description is also translated to French. So for those uh, which doesn't have any uh, names in French, it will show up the translation key. This is all about uh, form translations. Now uh, we will cover this our second topic: forms import, form import, and export. Uh, we'll start with form export. I'll log out uh, and log in with English local. So for each form, there will be an option to export the form. So this feature is built for implement. Uh, Implementer can export or download the form data as a JSON file for later use and the exported file will contain form details and the form translations. Uh, suppose for example I export this form and if you see the form vitals demo uh, will contain the form entire form data and the translations which we have created. And this is all about exports uh, and we can also import the form into our Bunny applications. Um, this feature uh, import the form uh, uh, you can see an import button here if you import a form suppose vitals demo.json and open it. So you can see there is one more version of form vitals to create got created here and which is in drafted drafted version. It won't uh, publish the form unless you go and click on publish. So an implementer can get the form from other environment and import it in this uh, Bunny environment if they need. This is all about imports and uh, as you already know, we can we'll cap uh, we'll capture some observations in registration second page as well. So we need to support this forms 2.0 in registration second page. Uh, let's quickly go to a patient and see the second see the visit details page. As you can see here, uh, we'll capture some ops like height and weight. And if you want to show our form builder form in this form builder form in this registration second page, uh, we should add some we should add the config uh, into the registration extension.json. If you add this config and specify the form name it will show up in the registration second page and the same functionality will apply to the bummy connect app as well that's it in this video thank you